Um, we do have our first caller on the line. We have Eric from Jackson Holding, and welcome to the program, Eric. What is your question for Rocky this evening? Yes, my question is, I was in an accident, and once I, the attorney agreed, uh, agreed to accept the case, he said that I can go ahead and accept the offer. I felt like the offer was not enough for future um, uh, hospital bills that I may occur later on. Can you uh, not accept the offer that the attorney presents to you and you can find that lawyer and go ahead and hire another attorney? Thank you for your call, Eric. Rocky. Absolutely. You, you are the captain of the ship, Eric. And what the attorney can do in any situation, we can only advise. And, you know, based on me doing this for 20 years and several thousand car wrecks, I can tell you here's what I think is a good settlement offer, here's what I think is not a good settlement offer, and here's why. But at the end of the day, it's your decision. And, you know, frankly, a lot of lawyers will pressure a client into taking a settlement. But you don't have to take it. And so one of the things that we keep track of at Morgan & Morgan is we look at what the pretrial offer is and then we look at what the end verdict is. And I, I know that earlier this year we had a case that I tried where there was a $50,000 settlement offer. We told the client, we don't recommend you take it. She listened to us. Uh, we end up getting, you know, $250,000 verdict. Client comes out five times better than they would have had they taken a settlement. And some lawyers would have encouraged that low settlement. Uh, had a case uh, recently where there was a $200,000, $300,000 offer. We recommended you don't take it because it didn't take into account all the future uh, damages, future pain and suffering. Uh, ended up getting over $700,000 verdict. So, you know, every case is different, Eric, but if you don't feel right about it, you should talk to another attorney because this is probably the only case you're going to have and it's certainly the only way you're ever going to recover for your medical bills in the past and the future and any permanent injury that you have. So you better take it into account and not take a cheap settlement.